Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. In this video, I'll show you an unusual background change effect and explain how you can do it with a step-by-step -step animation in zero block on Tilda. This effect looks like this. We enlarge several objects to present quotes about design. These circles are used as a background. To see how the animation works, you can copy its template ID in the lower right corner and paste it into your project. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. I create a new page in my project. Scroll down to Templates and click Enter Template ID at the very bottom. I paste in the number and the template with all the animation settings has now been added to my project. To see how the animation works, I go to Zero Block Editor, highlight the first element to be animated, this circle, and go to the Element Settings. I click Edit at the bottom of the settings panel under step-by-step -step animation to open the animation settings. All the values have been copied along with the template. Let's break down what we see here. There are three basic settings you need to go through to set up a step-by-step -step animation. These are event, steps, and properties. Event stands for the event on which the animation will take place. There are different options here such as on hover, on click, and so on. Once you selected Event, the Steps tab will appear. After adding a step or a new phase of the animation, we have to set up Properties, which is where you change the element properties for each animation step. There are two more important settings here on top. Start Trigger is the point in the browser window from which the animation starts. In this case, we've selected On Window Bottom which means that the animation will start when the element is at the very bottom of the browser window. Trigger offset is a distance from the trigger point at which we want to start the animation. It can be above or below the trigger point and gives us flexibility in case we want the animation to start a bit higher than the bottom of the browser window. In my case, I want the animation to start not exactly at the bottom, but 200 pixels higher. Let's look at the animation. The circle appears at the bottom of the screen. Then we scroll down another 200 pixels, and only then it starts to increase in size. In step 1, the element becomes huge and fills the entire screen. In order for it to fill large screens, it is enlarged by 3000%. This enlargement takes place in 15,000 pixels of scrolling. Scale is a volume of increase. Here it is set in percent, but you can also set it in pixels. Distance is measured in pixels. The second circle has exactly the same settings, and so does the pink element. Note that the pink circle grows a little faster than the previous ones because distance is set to 10,000 pixels. This is to make sure at the very end the quote is completely on the pink background in the middle of the browser window, like this. In order to create such animations, you don't need to set each element separately. Just take one, adjust its settings, and copy them to another element. To copy the animation settings, right-click on the element and choose Animation. Copy Step-by-Step -step Animation in the Context menu. Then scroll down to the second circle, right-click on it, and choose Animation. Paste SBS Animation from the Context menu. Let's save the page. To see the finished animation, go to Preview Mode, or publish this page. It's convenient to open the preview in a new tab. The elements increase with scrolling, and the last circle increases a little faster. Now that's a cool effect you can apply pretty quickly. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos about step-by-step -step animation in Zero Block. Thank you for choosing Tilda. Take care and good luck.